Hello everybody, this is Mike Herzing with In Wheel Time. This week we're in rarefied air. We're driving the 2013 Lexus ISF four-door sedan. Tell you what, this thing is a rocket ship. Fun to drive. Kind of very un-Lexus if you ask me, because it's really stiff ride, lots of horsepower, great suspension, good handling. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, this thing is so much fun, I can't believe I haven't been arrested yet. Look at the looks. They're just so sexy. This thing is, hey, look at this thing. It really is nice. First thing you notice, especially if you're a car guy, you'll notice the huge Brembo brakes. This thing will stop on a dime. Big wheels and tires, 19 inch wheels, 40 series tires. Man, is this thing fun. This is the view that most of the people are gonna see of this car, this ISF. 416 horsepower, five liter V8, eight speed transmission, I love the exhaust tips. That is so cool. One of the greatest things about this vehicle is, listen, the way it shifts. Oh my God, this thing is so much fun. Holy moly. I could get in so much trouble with this car. It's a great car. Inside, this car is all Lexus. Fit and finish is just superb. The looks are great. Now, this is not a big car. There is not a whole lot of leg room in here when the seats are scooted back like this. But you know, that's not why you buy this car. One of the things you're gonna notice about the ISF is, obviously, it's all Lexus. It's, it's all built great. It's loaded with all kinds of high-tech goodies. This one, the paddle shifters actually work great. It really, this is one of the vehicles I'm thinking, man, paddle shifters are great. Now, you look at the speedometer and tack area. What's the biggest gauge? It's the tachometer. Not the speedometer, speedometers, you know, it says there it'll go up to 200, and I probably won't, but I have on this thing on a track seen over 160. Pretty easy. It's got lots of horsepower, folks. You're only going to see a couple of cup holders. One of them's in the center console. One of them is right down here. One of them's underneath the armrest, actually. The one's right there. Good looking dash, fun car. Now, if you're looking for a Lexus ride, you know, cushiony, smooth, like a like a, a big luxury car, this ain't it. This thing handles and gr so good. The trade-off is going to be a little bit of a rougher ride. Now, this is nothing like the ride that we, when this model came out in 2008. This thing rode like a buckboard. And I've also been in a Mercedes C63. They ride really, really rough. This one isn't that way. Very quiet inside. Interior's real quiet. Very little road noise. And that's exceptional for the big wheels and tires it's got on it. They say with great power comes great responsibility, and this one has great power. It also has about every safety feature you can think of. This car will help you park it. It'll help, help you stop it if you need to. Uh, the differential is a limited slip. It's a torsion differential. This thing is just a great car. Now, like I said, if you're wanting a big luxury cruiser, this ain't it. This is not going to do it, and it isn't going to be fun for you. For a base price starting in the $65,000 range, this is not a cheap car. The competition it goes up against it are not cheap vehicles either. I can tell you though, if you want perfect fit and finish, real reliability, and a super fast car that you never have to mess with, this is the car. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 stars. This is Mike Herzing for In Wheel Time. We'll see you next week. Also, you can please... Go on Facebook, go to Facebook forward slash In Wheel Time and like us. We really could use that. And you can find out more about this, this car on InWheelTime.com.